Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Madhul sir. Now, when I was having my programming course, my first ever course as part of the engineering subject of mine in computer science, the very first program I wrote was Hello World. Curious of what this Hello World actually meant, I asked my professor, what does this mean? He told me that it is just going to publish Hello World on the screen and there's nothing much that you will have to do. I was again curious. Why do we have to publish something like Hello World? Why can't it be anything else like welcome to say programming or so on? Then he told me that the program is your baby. The program is your own creation. And now you are introducing your creation to the world. So your baby is now going to tell a hello to the entire world. Now, when I thought about this, I felt after our parents, it is our mentors, our gurus, who are the first one who introduce us to the world with hello world. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, a very good morning to all of you. A belated Independence Day wishes. And here, I'm fortunate to have been given this opportunity to speak on mentoring on this day. Now, what is mentorship? Mentorship is nothing but an opportunity for both the mentor and the mentee to grow together. The mentor takes, uh, takes the mentee along through a long and sustained journey of growth and happiness. In any particular area, the mentor goes to evaluate, to give constructive feedback, and to enrich the journey of the mentee. Now, one thing that is very beautiful about this entire relationship of mentor and mentee is the fact that it's a mutual and it's a two-way relationship. There is a growth on both the mentor and the mentee's journey. How does that happen, you ask me? The mentee develops in self-confidence. The mentee is, a, is given the opportunity to learn a particular skill and work on that particular skill. At the same time, the mentor also learns newer perspectives, newer ideas from the mentee. When both of them work together on such ideas, it is a journey of more self-introspection, self-awareness, and definitely enriching one. Now, in my life, I have definitely had a lot of good mentors. And that way, I think right from school till my professional life, and also in my personal life, I've been fortunate to have had good mentors. And it's a strange and happy coincidence that my own school teacher is the Toastmaster of the day today, Madhuvan sir. And this on my very, uh, the project of delivering mentorship. Madhuvan sir from school has been a very fun person. And having been 11th and 12th standard, when you're, when you're just given too much pressure of the world, that this is the only exam that is going to make or break your life, teachers like Madhuvan sir can be a huge stress buster. Their instant jokes and fun and fury speeches in the assembly sessions are still distinct and in, uh, unique memories in my life. And moving on, in my, uh, in my life, through professionally also, I've had very good mentors. Life has been a lot of struggles, and at every struggle and every roadblock or hindrance that and challenge that I faced, I've had the fortune of being picked up by my mentors. They have been extremely encouraging and supportive. Two of my favorite mentors have been Vivekanandan sir and Shripal sir in their respective careers of public service who have always been helpful in telling me what to do and what not to do with respect to my personal and professional life. Now, this is where we see that the lines between a coach and a mentor are very sharp and distinct. A coach is someone who is going to be there for a particular skill. The object is very narrow. For instance, if I want to improve my mathematical ability, I join a mathematics coaching. If I want to develop my sports skill, I, develop, I go to a sports coach. And now, here the relationship is particular to that but one skill alone. And it's a very narrow relationship. However, when it comes to a mentor, it's a more holistic relationship. It's not merely the skill that you focus, but rather the overall growth perspective. The overall holistic perspective that the mentor gives to the mentee. And as I said, it's a symbiotic relationship where it's a two-way road, unlike in the coaching process where it's a one-way road where your coach is going to give you the inputs to the mentee. 
So, for instance, if I have to demonstrate, in Mahabharata, we know there is Dronacharya and there is also Krishna. Dronacharya is a coach. He is developing the archery skill of Arjuna. However, Krishna is a mentor. He develops the holistic perspective of Arjuna and gives him a lot of life lessons to face the, face the challenges in life. Now, um, there are some challenges also in mentoring. As we, as we know that sometimes the mentor tries to impose their own, their own views on the mentee. And that's where we need the carte blanche for the mentee to have the freedom to choose their own way of life and improve upon. And beyond that, the mentee may not always also have a good relationship with the mentor and try to gain, gain perspectives from them. In Toastmasters, we have one of the most established and clearly defined roles of mentor and mentee. Before a speech, we give the speech for review to the mentor and we get it reviewed. My mentor has been Saro Rajan sir, who has been extremely kind and considerate towards, me, towards helping me develop my speech better. And even beyond that, it's important that after a speech has been delivered too, you can go back and discuss with your mentor on how to improve your speech. There are small and minute things which can help you give the speech much better next time. So having said that, hello world is not merely your own cre a creation that says hello to the world, but rather it is the mentor who introduces the world to you. Thank you. Thank you.